Okay. Hi guys. It's been a few days since I made the last motor vlog. So yeah. I just made it today. The weather is kind of cloudy. So which is why I didn't made a lot of motor vlogs. So let's go ahead with this one. I have attached the camera to my uh, helmet. So as you can see right here, let's view our helmet. There you go. Okay. Kind of we are good to go. I have my bag right here. Let's keep the phone in. Let's close it. And okay. It's 8.30 in the morning. I needed to go to the work at wait. Before anything. Let me check on my fishes. Okay, everyone is doing fine. That's my male fish. I just moved him from that pond to this aquarium because he was biting another male. So yeah, let's quickly turn off the lights in the house. And yeah, let's head out. There you go. My gloves, my keys. Let's just close. Actually, my duty starts at 9 a.m. today, so we still have a lot of time, so no need to rush. I should be there in half an hour. Let's go. Let me park it here. Let's warm the engine right here because inside it would be, I mean in the street, it would be very loud. So which is why I have to come outside the street to warm the engine up. See the it's cloudy here the sun is shining but not that bright there's high chances of raining in probably a couple of hours so I hope to be in the office within the next 15 minutes by the time this motor vlog finish so oh fuel it is fine we still have few kilometers to go wow that is great I ran like 174 kilometers on this tank already okay yeah so last week I went on the night ride which I haven't recorded because it started raining that is the reason so on a longer rides the ZX 10 r is it is actually very efficient. I mean, you can you can ride for like 200 kilometers in one tank, which is kind of cool. But in a city ride, you can only do around like 150, 160 kilometers. Normally, I fill her up at every 150 kilometers. You'll see the R15 at the front. I actually really like R15. I mean, is it R3 or R15? The tire seems like R15. But still, I'm not sure if it is or if it is not. But it sure does look cool. It is R15, guys. I mean, I really like the styling, which is really a step forward from the last model yeah 
Yeah, this looks funny to me. But this one looks really cool. Yeah, come on, dude. The PCX. I'm not sure if other parts of the world have this PCX or not. seems to be the fastest one not so many cars are changing lane on this side if you compare to this I mean if you compare to other side here you can see a lot of cars are blocking the way but I hope to get away well here I cannot so probably in this section I might be able to get away Yep. So now it's just a straight road ahead for us. Well, that is another PCX. There are a lot of PCX in Thailand. I'm not quite sure if other parts of the world have this Honda PCX or not. But they have been very popular in Thailand. They are very popular in Thailand, actually. Look at that GS 1200, I think. Yeah. This, the guy is really cool. I mean, in this traffic, he's making way with the BMW GS 1200 I mean, are you crazy that is a big bike I mean very big bike and if you can ride around traffic like this then I think it is really really cool let's follow him you see wow man it's a massive bike I think I can go it's off whoa that bike was big so which is why here to stop but I think we can find our way there yeah our bike is more sleek design traffic is actually on that side kind of funny because a few cars the traffic become worse a lot of mopeds now oh, ninja 250 I really like this bike man this was my my first bike yeah the ninja 250 was my first bike I rode that one for like two and a half years and then I wanted to get a sports bike a four cylinder I went to the dealership to ask about ZX 10R or ZX 6R but they said at that time uh, those were not imported in Thailand so the only four cylinder I can get the, on that time was Z800 so I ended up getting a Z800 which was by far my favorite bike because that one was a beast I mean you don't have many electronics you don't have nothing I mean it was all between you and your bike no ECU no IMU no nothing so which is a kind of a pure experience so I rode that one uh, I, I, I rode that one for like one year and then 
we have ZX10 are in the market so what I did next is I just yeah so uh, what I did was well, I, I went to check I went to do the service on my Z800 it was I think 18,000 kilometers yeah and I just asked them if is there any chances I can trade in I mean if I sell my Z800 take that payment as a down payment so it worked out well because they they give me one year insurance for free registration was free so it was like and the installments was not the, the difference in, uh, in the installments was not that much so the same day I talked to them okay I'm selling it I sold my Z800 and booked my ZX10R I actually booked the green one but later I really like this color so I choose this color as soon as I get this color they just stop the production for this ZX10 R in grey color so yeah that's how I get my ZX10 R which is also my favorite bike but you know these are two different feelings the ZX10 R and the Z800 they give totally different feelings this one is more like sporty what I really wanted since my childhood now I have it but in the naked segment I think Z800 will, will take the lead wow the traffic is so bad guys I think I have a, I've already spent how much time I mean 20 minutes already thank you okay yeah so I have already spent 20 minutes on the road on the bike already stuck in the traffic so I think let's just do a quick thing let's just finish the vlog here so guys this is it for today's motor vlog now I'm gonna order my GoPro to finish the vlogging GoPro stop recording <laughs>